Hi guys, in this video we will see how to install Eclipse IDE and how to create and run fast Java project. Open any browser and then go to Google and search for Eclipse download. Once you finish searching, you will find the download link at the top. Just go to the download link and from here you will see Eclipse ID 2019-12 download link for 64-bit version. So just click on download 64-bit is version and once you click there you will see the download button is there and it is the DMG file. We just need to click the download button to download Eclipse software. So I will download this DMG version of Eclipse. So I am clicking on top of download button and then it will start downloading. Before downloading it is asking me do you want to allow downloads on eclipse.org. I am clicking allow to start the download. Once download is finished we need to go to the download location. For my case my in my Mac the downloads folder is the download location of that software. Here I see the eclipse.dmg file is there. So I just need to double click on top of this to start the installation. So I just double click over there and it is opening the installer. Once it opens the installer, I need to double click on Eclipse installer. And I have to wait few seconds till it opens the installation window. So right now it is verifying and after that it is asking Eclipse installer is an app downloaded from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? I am sure. That's why I am clicking open button. Once I click open button, the main installer window will be appeared. Here sometimes it takes a little bit longer time like 30 seconds to 1 minute. So I am waiting till the main installer installation window will appear. This is the main installer window and there are many options like Eclipse IDE for developer or enterprise uh, develop, Java developer or C or C++ developer. I'm not going through all the options. For most of the cases either developer or tester they are strict with either the Java developer or enterprise Java developer these two options. So I am choosing Java developer this option. You can also choose the enterprise Java developers. But for this tutorial, I am choosing the first option. I clicked over there and I see it is showing that it needs Java 1.8 plus virtual machine. I see the Java installation of my computer is 13. Here I can see easily 13 and this is the location where my Java is installed here. If your computer does not have Java, you can see my other Java JDK installation detail. I will give you the link. And this is the installation folder where the Eclipse will be installed. And lastly, I have to click on install. Then it will ask me the user agreement, software user agreement. I will accept this by clicking the accept now this button. Once I click accept now button, then it will start installation of the software. And it will ask me again some of the uh, license agreement which I need to agree. So I have to click on ac accept this button to start or complete the installation and once I click over there it will it is again installing the rest of the things and it will take few more seconds to complete. Now I need to select all of these options. So I am selecting the first two options because there is check marks or I can also click on select all and I have to click on again accept selected. So I just clicked on accept selected and it will go to the next step of installation. Now it is about to finish the installation. Uh, just wait few more seconds and then it will finish the installation. Yes, now it is finished, finished and I see that there is a button launch. That means installation is complete and now we can run the application and this is the location where the installation folder is there. We can manually go there and then we can see that the Eclipse is over there and this is the file location. This path and this path are the same. Okay, so for now I am clicking launch button and it will open the Eclipse IDE. For the first time when it will open, it will take some few seconds and after that it will ask me the default orchestra location. For my case, I just kept default location. If you want to choose different location, you can click on browse and then you can choose the path. So I just open 
by based on the default configuration now eclipse will open once eclipse open we will see this welcome page you can uh, disable the checkbox always show windows at startup then next time it will not show for my case i just close this thing i didn't uncheck and this is the main editor of eclipse over the left side there is package explorer from where we can create a new java file or maven project something like that we can do like for the time being let's create a java project by searching java project and we see there are two options we, we are choosing the first option and then i click next and here suppose for example i am typing the project name is uh, like hello my few steps and this will be the project name and there are some other configuration like which version of java i want to choose for this application something like that uh, you can edit those things manually or you can learn those things later uh, now i have to click on finish button or i can click next and this is the simple thing i just clicked on finish button to finish the first java project file creation steps from here you can create a module uh, we can type some modular name and click on create it will create the module for the time being i am deleting entirely by right click and then choosing the delete option so i clicked on delete now it will delete uh, those files let's create a java file uh, so to create java file i need to right click over there and then choose new and then class and type the name of the class name for example i am typing the class name is hello few steps and then i am selecting public static void main this method as a main method and finally click on finish button once i click there then we'll see this type of screen now i am typing online like system dot out dot print line and then i'm typing some text like my few steps dot blog spot dot com and finally i will click on the run button to run the java class so before running i need to save and after saving i just click on the run button and i'm seeing that it successfully printed the line my steps.blogspot.com in this way you can install eclipse on your mac os and then you can run the application after completion i just close the application to reopen the application go to spotlight search and type eclipse and once you find that double click over there and you can open eclipse id so in this way you can easily install and use eclipse id for your mac os catalina computer hopefully this tutorial will be very helpful for you to install eclipse on your mac os catalina or any other mac operating system and if you have any comment please put in the comment section thank you for watching the video <music>